Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the ongoing establishment cancellation of women, this time by the good old BBC. In its coverage of the Roe v Wade overturning decision by the Supreme Court in the United States, they decided, in their infinite wisdom, that women no longer get pregnant. True, they now describe them as pregnant people, not women. Where will it end? Where will it end? When even the BBC cannot use the correct terms for people who get pregnant. Women. Let's have a look at this article. So here's the piece. Uh, it's in Breitbart, as you see, but it's actually in a lot of places. I just chose this one. Uh, pregnant people. The woke BBC faces backlash for gender, gender neutral term under its coverage of the Roe v Wade decision by SCOTUS. Uh, the publicly funded British Broadcasting Corporation, that cesspit of wokery and communism, has drawn criticism for using the phrase pregnant people in its news coverage of the US Supreme Court's ruling to revoke the federal protections under Roe v Wade. The typically woke BBC used the controversial phrase pregnant people when discussing the ruling from the court on this matter, which has seen widespread pushback from pro-European leaders such as British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and French President Emmanuel Macron. In a report from the BBC Radio 4's The World Tonight programme from a clinic in Arkansas, presenter Sophie Long stated, the clinical director and chair of the National A Federation, Laurie Williams said, knowing how many women and pregnant people would not now be able to get care was devastating. What the hell are pregnant people? Oh, that's right, women. I will never get pregnant in my life. No man, no matter what he calls himself or how he dresses, will ever get pregnant. Only women, only women. But the BBC can't say that because it would go against every ounce of their wokery. The BBC's news website followed suit in adopting the gender neutral phrasing in another report which said in 1973, the court had ruled in the Roe v Wade uh, case that pregnant people were entitled to an A during the first three months of their pregnancy. What the hell, again, pregnant people, women, women. Roe v Wade uh, did not use the phrase pregnant people, instead opting for the words mother and women to lay its now overturned ruling on the supposed constitutional right. Criticising the woke language from the supposedly politically neutral, publicly funded broadcaster, the Director of Advocacy for campaign group Sex Matters, Helen Joyce, told the Mail on Sunday, irrespective of where you stand on the A issue, we need clear, polite, unapologetic language about the reality of human existence, and that is man, woman, male and female, and it is not assigned at birth. You aren't assigned anything, you can't become anything. It is immutable. It is hard, part of who you are. You cannot change it. Uh, responding to the critiques, a spokesman for the BBC, how do we know it's a man? Spokesperson, surely. For the BBC said, we made clear in all our reporting that overturning Roe v Wade ends the constitutional right of A for women in America. Sophie Long was quoting the language used by the chair of the National A Federation. We have amended an online article. Meanwhile, a report from the... I don't care if she's quoting it, she should still use the correct terminology. Meanwhile, a report from the British broadsheet, The Telegraph claimed that during the so-called diversity training at the BBC, staff were instructed that there were over 150 recognised genders. No, there's not. There's two. Two recognised genders, male and female. Actually, they're sexes. There's two recognised genders, masculine and feminine. That's it. There's two sexes, male and female. Two genders, masculine and feminine. The woke re-education seminars were run by the pro-trans group Global Butterflies. Well, doesn't that tell you how much you need to vomit? Which told the BBC staff that they should include their gender pronouns in work emails. No, fuck you and your pronouns. Uh, in order to be a part of your trans brand. Oh dear. And inclusive and welcoming. A brilliant show of ally support. No, piss off. Global Butterflies a group of mentally ill people so, uh, presented the staff with a series of gender pronouns including z, zem and z. Yeah, that sounds like baby speak 
from mentally ill people. And we're told that people can self-identify themselves in over 150 ways. No, I said, and it's increasing. No, they can do what they like, but they present to me, male or female, masculine or feminine, and I decide what I call them. These people have no control over my speech. Earlier this year, the UK Civil Service, which, like the BBC, is also overrun with communists and wokery, is also intended to be politically neutral. And it also reportedly told civil servants there are now over 100 genders. These people are mental. Anyway, I shall come up and finish. In the real world, only women get pregnant. There are only two genders. There are only two sexes. Anything else is a mental illness. We should not be pandering to the mentally ill. We should be trying to help them. Where will it end? Anyway, thanks for listening. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.